According to Eddie Hearn, KSI versus Logan Paul rematch on DAZN was the highest rated DAZN boxing event in all of DAZN history. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Sign up for ESPN Plus below using the link in the description of all of my videos. It does help the channel. Now, Eddie Hearn spoke with Sirius XM Radio, Sirius XM Boxing, you know, reporter from Talk Sport, also captured at Michael Benson. And it says, Eddie Hearn has declared that KSI versus Logan Paul was the most viewed live fight that DAZN has ever put on so far. He also said it did more buys than any other UK pay-per-view this year, including Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz, though it was half the price. So Joshua Ruiz, they're saying in the UK, the pay-per-view costs more, but this Logan Paul KSI fight sold more in the UK, you know, you know the volume of sales the quantity of people that bought it and they in the uk if i'm not mistaken y'all had to wait up like really early you know and ksi being from the uk um that goes to show you you know sign of the time so i want to say congrats to logan paul and ksi for this victory they came to a streaming app in the zone got the bag they also use their youtube their own youtube channel not the zone youtube but their own personal youtube channel to motivate encourage people to buy stream the way in on their own personal channels and you know monetize the videos and build up hype there and they got a bag two youtubers who come from vine worlds and the gaming world and they they're making more than mma fighters and a lot of boxers a lot of boxers haven't touched a meal in fact they made more money listed on the california athletic commission than every other fighter except for Devin Haney. Devin Haney was the only one who got 100,000 more than them for his fight, according to the the payout sheet. But even guys like Billy Joe Saunders, who's a 168 pound champion, he got roughly seven, I don't remember exactly, but I think it was 750K. And KSI and Logan Paul, at least on paper, and you never know, cause guys, you know, it could be for tax purposes. They might get more or have incentivized, you know, contracts or whatever but on on the paper at least they were getting 900k which is more than billy joe saunders more than everyone again except for devin haney so again congrats to ksi logan paul now i made a video before this news broke and i told you that ksi is the face of the zone boxing him and logan paul they went out there and they've outperformed canelo alvarez and joshua you know in the uk market with their fight so, so shout out to them i don't know what it really means for the zone because ksi said he doesn't really want the trilogy not really interested i i did a video ksi and shannon briggs had kind of a it's not a facetime but a instagram live where they joined ksi joined let's go champs instagram live and they were talking and he was like nah man he reiterated what he was saying in ring he said i'm done with logan this was to settle the draw settle the score you know, I got other things to do. And he's possibly talked about fighting other people. But as far as he's concerned, Logan Paul, that issue is handled. He said he trained real hard. Logan pushed him. But it is what it is. So I don't really know what DAZN's plan on. Yeah, I like I don't even know how to feel as a real boxing fan. As a YouTuber, I feel I feel good that, you know, it just shows you that from the YouTube platform, you can make noise, get a fan base, get people interested in what you got to say and make some money but i don't know they said they build this as something that would grow the sport of boxing and i don't know i don't know it does that just because jake paul has said boxing is rigged and he has a fan base he's saying boxing is rigged now shannon briggs said eddie hearn is behind the victory logan paul is offended that he didn't get warnings and he got the two-point deduction so you know they're trying to create a commotion behind this 
and there may not be a rubber match according to KSI who he's the he's the champ I don't know if this was a championship fight or what but he's the the victor if you will so he kind of calls the shots in that regard and you know they're trying to create a controversy behind it meanwhile to see actual boxers who have worked their whole life in like Billy Joe Saunders and people amateur pedigree and they get outdone and more money is given to YouTubers I don't know that that novelty um and when people lay it out on the table and and look at it I don't know what that does to grow boxing it just shows you you can almost have a shortcut um and really have a popularity contest and get into the sport of boxing and pass up guys who dedicated their whole life to it so I, I mean DAZN would have to explain that one about how it uplifts boxing and then you look at the fights Billy Joe Saunders and Devin Haney in my honest opinion I respect both fighters uh, Devin Haney especially definitely watched his whole career seen him spar live and those kind of things but he had a dislocated shoulder and his guy wasn't that game after the knockdown so it wasn't out of Devin's last three fights it wasn't Devin's sharpest performance yes he won he won basically every round but his guy the guy that Eddie Hearn got for him very tentative plus he says he has a dislocated shoulder so it wasn't him at his absolute sharpest same thing with Billy Joe Saunders but Billy Joe Saunders actually just kind of looked bad versus his opponent so from real hardcore boxing fans they looked at the performance especially from Billy Joe Saunders and Devin Haney and like ah we've seen them better you know Billy Joe Saunders has definitely put on better performances versus Andy Lee and David Lemieux and he looked pretty bad before the knock out and knockdowns in round 11 and then he had the nerve to call out Canelo so I don't know that they gained some crazy traction uh, look like a lot of the kids and the the younger crowd and millennials were there really for the main event they seem from what I seen the fight not Billy Joe Saunders or Devin Haney the fight that they got the most involved in and you heard the crowd reaction outside of the main event of course because that's what everyone was there for was the DQ fight so to me, I don't really know how that grows boxing. They were hyped at uh, White Chocolate Nikita's fight that ended controversially or, you know, the guy was playing possum, playing dead or whatever he was doing. And he got DQ'd and hit after the bell. And, you know, they seemed to get hyped over that. So I think Eddie Hearn and DAZN made a big mistake financially. Maybe this made some money, even though Eddie Hearn's is saying this, the numbers haven't come out. But I just don't know how you build upon this unless you're going to get into the market of a ton of celebrity fights. You know, Chris Brown, Soldier Boy, Angry Bagel Guy versus Bieber, you know, Jake Paul versus Anderson or whoever that guy is. Uh, you know, I don't I don't really know. So if you're in it for boxing and bye bye pay-per-view and the pay-per-view's dead, I got to see what the game plan and what the next move is. Because meanwhile, in boxing, back to that, you know, because this is over now. Logan got paid, KSI got paid, announced winner, split decision, whatever. Now you got to get back to the regular boxing programming. Like, how can you stay afloat with this? What, what, what is the next novelty fight? Do people even want to see Logan Paul, KSI? Where are the numbers? You know, and it just shows you a sign of the times. Canelo Alvarez fought on the West Coast, just like KSI, Logan Paul. And his fight with Kovalev was pretty mute. Had to take a back seat to UFC 244. Dana White is on record saying MGM called him begging to allow the MGM to play his pay-per-view. That was a bad look for Canelo's fight card. Canelo's waiting for a rival promoter and they're airing a rival promoter card and they have Bellator. DAZN has Bellator, which is Coke and Pepsi to the UFC. You know, one's Coke, one's Pepsi. And you're airing the competitors because Dana White's words exactly people are going crazy down here so you know just weird decisions i i can't wait to see what DAZN tries next with their regular boxing programming or if they're going to get into celebrity boxing i'm not quite sure but um this doesn't help canelo's brand especially canelo who's been vocal saying demetrius andre was boring and then had a boring 10 rounds with kovalev before this faf type of climactic 11th round stoppage and now he's getting outsold by YouTubers, according to Eddie Hearn. This was the most viewed. And then now Joshua also got outsold by Andy Ruiz. So DAZN may have, you know, 
made some money with this fight but also hurt their boxing programming what does that say for the boxers like joshua olympic gold medalist and late replacement andy ruiz and canelo who are also on your platform getting outsold and where are the numbers from you know what i'm saying this is all under the DAZN umbrella so i i really have some questions i don't really know how to feel exactly over it but I don't feel I'm a little bit uneasy because I don't feel like it makes sense. It doesn't make sense that you went ham promoting KSI Logan Paul and then it outdoes Canelo and it outdoes your other who I thought was supposed to be the cat two biggest cash cows, Joshua. So if it outdid Anthony Joshua, Andy Ruiz Jr. and this alleged legacy fight with Canelo moving up allegedly to weight classes, even though we know he has experience at 168 and 164.5. What does that say about your promotional skills? You over promoted KSI Logan Paul, made sure that was a success. But what about Nonito Donaire versus Inouye? That was a good fight. What about Maurice Hooker versus Jose Ramirez? You know, what about Regis Progray, Josh Taylor? What about Canelo Kovalev? It shows me that you were more interested in the dollar and promoting that and utilizing these kids' fan base than making the actual boxing programming, which was always the, you know, the motive. A big thing really weird let me know what you guys think but canelo has officially been bumped off as the highest viewed boxing programming by the two youtubers ksi and logan paul shout out to them congratulations on your victory in, in the fight and truth be told the ksi logan paul was supposed to you know um uplift boxing and i like, give all this exposure to other fighters and it was the most dramatic and most entertaining fight on the whole card so i don't know the zone may have pigeonholed himself with these stats and i'm really curious as to the numbers to me i feel like it didn't do better than the first ksi logan paul because why wouldn't eddie hearn reveal the numbers the first one did like 1.4 million you know so i don't know why the zone's being so stingy with the with the actual viewership numbers but according to eddie he's saying this is the highest viewed boxing program so it kind of goes to show you the focus with the zone. Let me know what you guys think. If you love what I'm doing, smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego, signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.